Welcome to the President's Diary, a weekly program where we highlight the work of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces on Saturday, January 30, in an address to the nation, provided an update on the Guyana Venezuela border issue. Immediately following the address, His Excellency, along with other officials, fielded questions from the public and local and international media on the matter, as well as the latest developments involving the Guyanese fishing vessel and crew being held by the Venezuelan military. The head of state in his live address to the nation announced that his government is doing all in its power to vigorously protect Guyana's territorial integrity and remains fully committed to the International Court of Justice, ICJ, process. The president was joined by Prime Minister Brigadier Retired Mark Phillips, ministers of government and members of the armed forces, among other officials. The Guyanese leader is adamant that Guyana will not bend to threats to the country's national security. He welcomed the support by the international community, including the Caribbean community, CARICOM, and the Organization of American States, OAS. The OAS emphasized that the resolution of the issue between Venezuela and Guyana is a matter that lies under international jurisdiction and cannot be settled by unilateral actions. The organization of three countries was clear that any attempt to derail this international legal process, such as a decree issued by Maduro regime, is contrary to international law and standards and has no legal be bearings or significance. President Ali informed the nation that he is in receipt of a letter from the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres. In the letter, which was received by the President on Friday, Mr. Guterres reaffirmed his decision to have the ICJ resolve the controversy. The Secretary General acknowledged that the court, the court is proceeding to adjudicate the merits of the case. Noting that the bilateral relationship between Guyana and Venezuela is broader than the controversy, should both the government of Guyana and Venezuela wish to avail themselves of his good office's role to address other important issues, he remains available for that purpose. Outside of the border issue, President Ali said there are areas of common interest, including the increasing number of Venezuelans now seeking refuge in Guyana and the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the president noted that these issues can only be addressed if Venezuela desists from further acts of aggression against Guyana. The first step being the release of the Guyanese fishermen and their vessels, which were seized in Guyana's waters last week. Guyana has registered to the government of Venezuela its protests in the strongest possible terms at this unlawful and aggressive action against the state and people of Guyana and has insisted upon the immediate release and return of the two Guyanese vessels and their crews. Meanwhile, President Ali also updated the nation on Guyana's approach to the COVID-19 pandemic, including the pursuit of the vaccine to tackle the disease. The president said Guyana, as a part of the COVAX facility, is now eligible to receive vaccines for 20% of the population. In February and March, the country is set to receive the first set of 3,800 vaccines, which will be given to frontline workers, the elderly, and persons with existing comorbidities. President Ali said too that the government is engaging several international counterparts to source more vaccines, which will be provided free of cost to citizens. The president said when the vaccines arrive and distribution begins, they will have the full approval of the World Health Organization and will be safe. I will be the first to demonstrate this by signing on to the vaccination program. It is important, however, that we understand that as we roll out vaccines, we must still observe and respect all the precautions and preventative measures to remain safe. I repeat, wear your mask, wash your hands, keep your distance and stay home unless it is absolutely necessary to be out. The head of state said his government is fully committed to obtaining these vaccines in the shortest possible time utilizing every possible means at its disposal. We are also working with CARICOM, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and the European Union 
for a quota of vaccines. At the bilateral levels, the government of Guyana has had productive discussions with the government of India, the government of China, and the government of Russia. The government of China has confirmed that it will be donating 20,000 doses of vaccines to Guyana. Discussions are ongoing, and arrangements to acquire vaccines from these countries will be finalized very shortly. Additionally, the president announced that a central bank has extended its COVID relief measures for businesses until August 2021. His Excellency on Tuesday, January 26, met with representatives from the small political parties to discuss Budget 2021 at a working lunch held at State House. The head of state was joined by members of his cabinet, including senior minister in the office of the president with responsibility for finance, Honorable Dr. Ashni Singh. President Ali reiterated his administration's commitment to engaging all stakeholders to ensure that its plans and programs reflect the priorities of the people. You are all stakeholders in this process. And as we have embarked on Budget 2021, I thought it necessary that at least we have a working lunch in examining some of your thoughts, some of what you see as priorities, so that we can have a discussion, so that we can consult, so that we can arrive at a program in which all of Guyana feel as if they are part of it. President Ali shared his belief that a strong, prosperous and economically viable Guyana could be built through critical thinking and vision. Coming together and unifying requires a bit more. It requires breaking down selfish barriers, breaking down internal barriers and transforming our personality. And that is a bit hard of, of a project because it pushes a changing norms, changing ways of thinking, changing prejudices. And these are some of the things that we want to capture in an innovative and new manner. Present at the engagement were representatives from a new and united Guyana, Liberty and Justice Party, the Citizenship Initiative, the New Movement, United Republican Party, and Change Guyana. Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and Governance, the Honorable Gail Teixeira. Minister within the Office of the Prime Minister with Responsibility for Public Affairs, the Honorable Kwame McCoy. Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Zulfikar Mustafa. And the Minister of Amerindian Affairs, the Honorable Pauline Sukai, were also present at the meeting. President Ali on Wednesday, January 27, received a courtesy visit at State House from publisher of Equality News, Mr. Bashkar Sharma. The Canadian-based Guyanese was accompanied by senior counsel Jailal Kisun. He related that his aim is to enhance collaboration between Guyana and Canada. Meanwhile, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces on January 28 met senior commanders of the Guyana Defence Force on national security issues. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thanks for watching. Do join us again next week.